the absolute destruction seen from above. Last week, Great Abaco Island was known as a sailor's paradise. Today, relief workers are using the word apocalyptic. This is a before and after. So much of the island suddenly submerged. Hurricane Dorian hit Abaco first on Sunday, the most powerful storm ever recorded in the Bahamas. The U.S. Coast Guard is using helicopters to get some of the injured out to Nassau. People are saying, I've lost everything. And the only thing, you know, you could say, you know, everything is going to be all right. You know, I'm keep praying. On Grand Bahama Island, neighbors are rescuing each other on jet skis and in boats. These people are going out and pulling people from their houses, from on top of their houses, and saving their lives. Look, there's a little, a little baby here, there, a boy there, they're covering up and protecting. At this point, they estimate hundreds more were still out there. We Bahamians, we're not going to stop until we get everybody in. Dorian stalled over the island for hours, ripping it apart and sending people scrambling up as water rushed into their homes. The fear today, rescuers will be too late for some. We have persons trapped in their roof and, and a lot of those individuals, we haven't been able to hear from them for the day and we cannot get to them. Over local radio, Bahamas National Emergency Management Agency urged people to hang on, telling them, we haven't forgotten you. The United Nations and Red Cross estimate more than 60,000 Bahamians will need food and clean water. A big complication to getting aid in, this is the airport in Grand Bahama, under two meters of water. You can see Grand Bahama Island here and Great Abaco where Dorian first made landfall. Just to the south is Nassau, the capital of the Bahamas. And that is where Steve is tonight. Steve, the Prime Minister addressed his country late this evening. What did he have to say? Well, he said that he actually took a tour of uh, Great Abaco Island today doing an assessment and he just said it was completely, it was utterly decimated from the parts that he saw. You know, you see the pictures of that airport in Grand Bahama. One of the airports in Great Abaco Island he described as looking like a lake. Another one does have a clear runway, but the roads leading to it are flooded. So that gives you a sense of the difficulty they're going to have in terms of getting aid. There are many aid groups here in NASA mobilizing now, waiting for the green light. And while the government says they are hoping to give the all clear in terms of weather forecast tomorrow morning at 5 a.m., they say they still need to do more assessments before they can allow much needed aid. Although they do say a Navy vessel is coming in tonight to Great Abaco Island to deliver much needed food. And the prime minister made a call out to the other Caribbean islands as well as to Bahamians around the world saying we need some help because the recovery here is not going to be measured in days or months, but years, Andrew. Okay, Stephen D'Souza in Nassau tonight. Thanks so much.